For my fourth assignment, I chose to analyze Eric Laforgue's work. Eric Laforgue was born in France on July 17, 1964, and is a photographer for many reputable companies such as National Geographic, Times Magazine, Lonely Planet, and more. His photography has a humanistic approach and shows his travel to different countries, and he visits many places that people are unaware of. He tries to shed a positive light on the places he visits, which often can be difficult to do. Some of the countries he has traveled to include Panama, many countries in Africa, Japan, North Korea, Thailand, and Vietnam. I really enjoyed learning about the different cultures in so many different countries throughout this project. This photograph of a little girl in Angola is ethically evaluative because she is clearly in an impoverished area and does not have money for clothes. She is in front of a former army base, which many would not know became a place for people to occupy when they become homeless. Many Angola families became homeless after the Civil War, which ended in 2002, so it is not uncommon for families and young children to live under these conditions. This image is ironic because the army and the war could be the reason that this little girl does not have a home, yet she is now living in the army base. I believe that Eric Laforgue's work brings awareness to these issues and could benefit the people of these poor countries. This photo in Benin, West Africa, shows a woman working in the Dantokopa market. She is gathering bottles to recycle. The Dankopita market is the largest market in West Africa and is one of the main economy sources for the country. Aside from recycling, the market also sells produce, gas, oil, beauty products, and more. This image is explanatory because it shows some of the products sold in the market and explains how the women work, the traditional clothing they wear, and how they often transport the goods on their head. This image is theoretical because it is not 100% clear what the children are doing and allows the viewer to create a theory. At first, it may appear that the children are just playing outside, and there is a lot of dirt and dust being kicked around. However, if you look closely, you can see that they are actually building a fire. I enjoy the images of the children in Africa because the work they do and their daily tasks are so polarizing from what we see in the United States. These kids cannot be older than five, yet they are still helping their family by building a fire to cook their dinner on. This photograph is descriptive because it shows the train station and a sign showing the town, Benguela, and which town is in either direction. I found this image interesting because although it may seem simple, if the train was not passing by in the background, the viewer may be confused as to what the sign is for. I also found it interesting that there is a small child walking alone because that is something one would never see in America at a train station so it also describes the differences in culture between the United States and Angola. Angola is considered the deadliest country for kids. One in three children are malnourished, and it has the highest mortality rate for children under five. Maybe the photographer chose to capture this inconsistency with a child being alone to point out the many indifferences between Angola and a more developed country. This photo of a little Angolan boy in front of a church is interpretive because it makes the viewer curious as to what he is looking out on, after doing some research on my own, the church is situated on the ocean, so it is very possible that he is looking out onto the water. This photo is taken at Lake Asal Crater in Djibouti. This image is aesthetically evaluative because it depicts the beautiful colors of nature. I like this image because of all the different shades of blue with the island matching the sand. Lake Asal is the lowest point on the land in Africa, and no water comes in or leaves the lake, and the salinity is ten times more than the ocean due to the evaporation. There is a great amount of evaporation because in the winter, the temperatures can reach 93 degrees Fahrenheit, and from May through September, the temperatures can reach 126 degrees Fahrenheit. Due to the high salinity, there is limited wildlife and vegetation. Eric Laforgue's photography helped me perceive photography in a different light by showing beautiful and challenging parts of Africa. Although one may think of parts of Africa as a poor and impoverished country, which many are, there are such rich colors and scenes in nature that there are to appreciate, and many times, there is beauty in the challenging portions of life. 